Hey there everybody, it's Mike Delisio with another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing. Today we're going to be taking a look at My Farm Shop, coming to you from designer Rudiger Dorn, publisher Pegasus Spiele, 20 or <laughs> 24 players, no, 2 to 4 players, Mike. It's not a party game, it's 2 to 4 players, 30 to 45 minutes. Select one of three dice to improve your farm with a new card from the market. Each player activates a space on their farm as indicated by the two remaining dice and sell your goods in the farm shop, in your farm shop, to earn the most money. Your farm produces the most delicious organic products, and now your goal is to sell them for a profit at the farm shop. All right, well, bright, colorful, vibrant cover. Looks to be a very, very charming theme. Let's take a look inside the box and see what we can find out here. A tactical competition between farms for two to four clever agriculturalists. All right, so here we see our components, and here we see our setup for the game. Uh, each of you has a small farm comprised of 10 fields. Activating these fields gives you unique actions. Course of the game, when it's your turn, you do these steps in order. Only you roll the dice. Only you improve your farm. All players activate a field, and only you refill the market. So, it looks like there are some aspects of the game that are... Uh, you know, everyone is involved. I don't know if you think of it as like a follow action or something along those lines. I'm not sure exactly how it plays out, but it looks like some of the things you do on your own and then one aspect everyone does together. And you can kind of see the different actions here. Sunflowers, a coin track. There's also three expansion modules that uh, you can change up the game with. A jumpstart module, a farmer module, and a goals module. All right, so it looks like it's a game that's certainly looks to be a family weight game and maybe these modules can add to some of the complexity if that's what you're looking for. Here we see our cardboard components. They're fine. They're relatively standard cardboard components. Not overly remarkable one way or the other, but I'll show them off for you here. They certainly seem serviceable to me. Here are our farms, our player boards, okay, of the different colors. Again, it is a very vibrant, bright art style. I will definitely say that. Okay. My tiles are spilling everywhere. Okay. Double-sided boards here. Four of these. Okay. Then, there's a little bit more boards here than I was expecting here. This looks to be the central board where you've got the coin track. We've got some just D6s here. I don't know that there's really anything much to show off here. These look to be standard D6s and some colored wooden discs. Yeah, just standard D6s and discs, but we've got some small cards here. Let's take a look at these. All right. Some of these are probably modules. Like perhaps these are the goal cards. Very, very clear iconography to my eyes. All right, not a whole lot of art going on there, but pleasant enough. All right, well, look, Rudiger Dorn has produced a number of games that are very highly regarded in the board gaming community, and this looks to be a lovely family weight game. I know I'm making some assumptions there, but based on the art style and the lightness of the rule book, that's probably a pretty fair guess. That is my farm shop. Thank you for watching another Dice Tower Daily Unboxing.